took pieces of paper, placed them out and sellotaped them together to start my pattern. I then used an old leotard and placed it on top so I could get the guideline for the leotard. I also changed the pattern slightly as hers is a halter neck. I also marked out where I would need the gold patterns of the costume and I did dotted lines to show where I needed darts. I then took another piece of paper to start sketching out the back of the design. I used the original behind it so that I could match them perfectly and then I also added an elongated top. I used the original leotard again to mark out the back of the leotard. I then took it up to the top and used a scallop neckline so it would be backless. Once I'd marked everything out, I matched it back up to the beginning so I could mark out where I needed the gold details for the end. This is everything you need. I took pieces. Here's part two for making Starlight's costume. Now that both my patterns are drawn out, I need to cut them. Also, while cutting them, I did match them against each other just as for the second time so I knew they were the same size. Once both patterns were cut out, I leaved all the inners and details till the end, as I only need the base for now. Leaving all other details, I did remove the collar, as that will have to be separate to the base. I also used a four-way stretch fabric, so it gives me lots of room to move. Here's part two for making starlight. Part three. Here I've pinned all the fabric and the pattern together so I could see exactly what I was cutting out. I used the gold stretch fabric on the fold so that I would only have to cut it once. Here I've placed it on top to see where I'd need to pin and then I pinned it on the inside also cutting the white on the folds. I pinned on the inside of the fabric so that the stitches would be hidden. I did all the sewing off camera as I couldn't hold it at the same time, but I stitched with a straight stitch and a zigzag on top. This makes your stitch insecure. I also added off camera a gold stretch trim, which I found on eBay for about £2 a metre, so I added that to add detail to the costume as she does, and attached with a zigzag stitch again to allow the costume to have stretch. Part 3 Part 4 once everything had been sewn together, I started adding details. I used silver elastic and doubled up to make it extra thick. I also added two gold embroidered stars that I bought off of eBay. Here I pinned on to where I needed them placed and then hand stitched them through. I also added a zip at this time, which was also hand sewn off camera. Once everything had been sewed on, I used a white pearl puff paint that I got from the pound shop, Pearl Effects and I started making a small print of stars and dots as her costume is printed like so. This will give a 3D effect and add more dimension to the suit. This is a very time consuming part of making the costume but it does look very effective when finished. As you can see here you can see them throughout the costume and I did this on all white areas of the suit. I also super glued on the gold embroidered stars at this point and stitched up any holes needed. Part 4. Once everything... Part 5. After realising I'd made the costume slightly too small, I made a butt panel at the back and now, as you can see, it fits me nicely. I then started making on some foam pieces, just using EVA foam and hot glue. These are for the boots and the glove details that go on later. Once I was happy with these, I started making the gloves. I bought these from eBay for about £3, as it's a lot easier to do so, and then used the excess of my boot fabric to add details to them by making the gloves a lot longer and with a slight edge to them so they go in a V-shape. Once I was happy with that, I then glued on the stars and then I started painting them using gold acrylic paint. Part 5. After finishing steps, I took some velvet stretch fabric to make her boots and then cut around my boot shape and extended it to the length that I needed. I also left a space for the heel so that it could cover over any boots that I choose to. Like so, you can see here. I also made a bottom panel in a round oval shape to stitch to the bottom so that it was covered and stitched through with a zigzag stitch to allow stretch. I also left a gap at the heel so that the heel will be able to poke through and once I was done with that I added some stars that I super glued on to just above the knees. Here is the finished complete outfit all tried on which I'm very happy with. There is a few areas that I needed to adjust around the bust so that it fitted better but overall I'm very happy with the last design. All the